everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to One Honey Bell Kitchen. Yes. So it's Easter and I'm going to fry some bami with fish. Yeah, I have my nice fish over here. We're going to fry and I have some bamis here. This package has two bamis. Jamaican bami and I show you as I go on how I do it. I'm going to soak it in milk. And so I show you what's going on in one honey bell kitchen. Yes. So I have my milk over here. I have my milk here. And I'm going to put some vanilla, just a little twist to it. It's vanilla let your bami have nice flavor. You can judge it like this. I'll give it like two um, tablespoon. mix it you see the color becoming like brown so that's how I'm gonna soak my bami and you you your bami it can be eaten like this um, because this is not in the free refrigerator or in the freezer or anything it will you know you can eat it like this with your fish but we in Jamaica or other Caribbean countries they usually like fry it a little to eat with your fish it tastes good when you fry it and you enjoy that you know especially on Easter when you have your bun and cheese and your fried bami so I put it in, a, in the milk here to soak My, make sure your hands are clean it's your thing you can touch it you know soak it and you cut it in like four quarters and that's how we do it so as I go and I show you what's going on in my kitchen one honey bell please remember to subscribe to our videos we need subscriber we need subscribers so please subscribe to our videos I would appreciate it we would appreciate if you do for those of you who have subscribed already I thank you from the bottom of my heart I appreciate you and for those of you who is on the sideline looking watching my videos liking it please subscribe thank you I'll show you then what's going on as we make our bami for Easter yes talking about Easter here and I can't talk about Easter without telling you guys about Jesus who died on the cross I know this is a video I'm not preaching I'm just telling you why we celebrate Easter is that day Jesus went to the cross and he was crucified for you and for me and so that's why we celebrate Easter in our as a Christian so just that is if you need to know more you can ask me in the comments so as I go on I show you I cut and I soaked I cut and I soaked so you make sure everything is soaked you know you can if you don't you can use the, uh, the ones at the top you move it down to the bottom so everything is soaked make sure your hands as I say if you are cooking anytime you're cooking your hands are supposed to be clean so I don't have to tell you that okay <laughs> so my bami is soaked and ready so in the milk so I'm gonna t I have a piece of paper towel in a plate I'm just gonna take it out and rest it here for a while until I ready to fry I show you how I do my thing my bami and fried fish you know Easter people never usually like to eat meat you can it's not a rule but you know it's they usually say my grandmother used to tell me like you know she want to eat fish salt fish fry salt fish or fry fish or whatever fish 
you know. But that's what I'm doing for my family now. Please don't forget to subscribe to our videos and like. And if you want, you can make comments. You can comment and tell me if this is the way you do your bami. As I told you, I'm doing also some fish. But I have my fish video here already. In my channel at One Honey Bell. One Honey Space Bell. B-E-L-L. -L. And honey is one number one. H O N E Y space bell where you can watch my fish video so you can make nice fish with your bami for Easter. For Easter or whenever you feel like you want to have some bami, it don't have to be Easter. You fish eat fish all year through round, okay? Everybody, welcome back to One Honey Bell Kitchen. Yes, so I told you I'm doing some bammy, some fried bammy, and I'm gonna have some fish with it. I put my bottles here, and now my oil. I'm using canola oil. You can use any oil you want to use olive oil, canola, whatever, grapeseed. So I put it down in my. I'm gonna deep fry. So when it's light brown, you know it's done. And you take it out, you're gonna turn it over on one side. And that's how we're going to do it today. So as I go on, I show you what's going on in my kitchen. One hundred bell. Yes. Turn it around because if you look, this is golden brown. You know, light brown it has to be golden, but you don't want it to burn so you keep on looking at the color it looks one go a little more but these two are perfect perfect colors this is the color that I want find my bamis gonna have this with some fried fish for Easter bamis Try until it's light brown. You turn it over. Bami with fried fish for Easter and some bun and cheese. So this is ready. I'm just taking them out. And I'm gonna put the rest in. So it's crispy and juicy at the same time and nice the bami maybe you're wondering where it's the plant the plant of the bami is the cassava it's like a tradition from africa you know our forefathers they used to make a lot of stuff unique stuff where they get this from the cassava plant you can also get starch from cassava to make your clothes nice and stiff and pretty. So, if you look here, you see how juicy and crispy light brown these are. That's how you want it. So, this is cool. So, I'm just going to try a piece for you guys. Let your hair. Mm. A little crisp, mm. crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. Look, mmm, tastes good. And you see the vanilla, the vanilla that I put in the milk, the vanilla. It give a little kick. It make it taste awesome. This is number one, by me in the world. <laughs> Mm -hmm. My beautiful fried fish with my bell peppers. You have different colors red, yellow, onion. I put a piece of some garlic. This is my escovish 
fry fish. Follow us on Instagram for more delicious recipe. Fry fish for dinner. My bummy is ready. My bummy is ready. It is ready. My bummy is ready. Yes.